the mission of the University of South Florida Morsani College of Medicine, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, is first and foremost teaching, training of our residents, teaching of our medical students, research, both clinical and translational, and outstanding and innovative clinical care. What we've done is tried to create a very unique resident wellness program that focuses on finding time to really teach the residents the different modalities for wellness, including meditation, yoga, cranial sacral therapy, so that the residents can learn how to then apply those to the patients, because at the center of everything at USF is the patient. From the minute we were in here, it just felt like that we, uh, that we were going to be taken care of and they were going to do absolutely everything that they could do for us. The Fetal Care Center of Tampa Bay is uh, the only center of its kind in Florida as well as in the southeast of the United States. We are offering interventions such as laser therapy for complicated twin pregnancies with twin to twin transfusion syndrome which is the only center doing it in the state of Florida. Recently, we had a patient who was evaluated and was found to have twin to twin transition syndrome. She was quickly rushed to our center. We evaluated her and did the laser treatment the next day. And the procedure was successful. She went back home and went back to Ohio where she ended up delivering her twins. It was a very good experience with Dr. Odebo. Even when we got back to our MFM doctor, I mean, our MFM doctor looking over everything was like, you basically got the guy that wrote the book on this. The Human Placenta Project is a project that has been designed by the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development. And the goal of this project is to look at the many ways in which the placenta affects outcomes of pregnancy. Currently, we don't know um, how babies come with growth restriction. When they're born, they're small babies. So we don't know what's the main reason. And can we detect these babies early during pregnancy so we can start early treatment? If you look at just one explanation for recurrent pregnancy loss, recurrent early preterm birth, what we've done is to analyze the mechanisms that cause those early preterm births, and we've used our understanding of the clinical syndromes to drill down in the lab uh, and better understand the biological and biochemical and even genetic mechanisms. The Pregnancy Loss Prevention Center at the University of South Florida focuses on a variety of different kinds of, of recurrent loss. So we're also conducting research in, in clinical trials, try to improve pregnancy outcomes, uh, studies in G1 oncology and in infertility. The Pregnancy Loss Prevention Center is something that we developed in conjunction with Dr. Lockwood, and it's a space where patients can come who have had multiple different complications in their past. A lot of what happens with patients who have recurrent miscarriage can be traced back to genetics. So we use their history, we use their blood work, and we use other samples that we're able to obtain from when they have a miscarriage to be able to characterize what caused the loss and give the patient some closure and maybe provide answers for women all across the country. One of the most interesting technologies I think that we're employing is actually in the education front. And that's our CAMELS facility, which is the nation's largest medical simulation center. It is truly state of the art. The types of things for OBGYNs that we like to do here, we practice vaginal deliveries, we practice uh, operative vaginal deliveries, we practice simulated laparoscopic techniques. We're really proud of our balanced approach of OBGYN, trying to make as much time for the obstetrics part as the gynecology part. This is a growing department and with, with the new leadership that we have in place, I really think this is one of the future leading departments of OBGYN in the country. Our department is poised to not only conduct, I think, some landmark laboratory-based research, but increasingly to look at how we provide care in a way that is sustainable, that improves outcomes, lowers costs, uh, is more satisfying for patients, um, and can be exported to other centers around the country so that we can improve the delivery of healthcare throughout the nation.